And a great big howdy do to everybody. Hope you're having a mighty good and uh, hope everybody's ready for a good old Friday night. TGIF. <laughs> oh, mercy me. James, brother, it has been quite a while since I said welcome back. And it is a blessing to have you back with us, brother. And we've had you and your mom and you in our prayers and thoughts and stuff. And so thank you, sir. And also thank you so, so much for being a good, becoming a good old channel member. God bless you for that, brother. God bless you. And Miss Marcia, it's also good to see you, sister. And I saw your uh, message a while ago. And we will definitely, uh, we got your mama in our prayers and you as well in the family. And Miss Shana, how you doing? Tennessee sister, it's a blessing to have you with us. So glad you did too. And, uh, yeah, there's old Steven. How you doing, brother? It's a blessing to see you. And Miss Kim, how you doing? And Herbert, how you doing, brother? It's good to see you. Queen won't be with us tonight. She's uh, helping one of our neighbors. She's an elderly lady. Uh, she's actually been kind of down, uh, feeling poorly, so Laura's over kind of helping her around the house and stuff. Christina, my awesome little sister, how you doing? And then there's the awesome Oki, how you doing? And Dragon, how you doing? Lord James, thank you so, so much, brother. Lord, what a blessing that is. Thank you so, so much, brother. God bless you for that. Hey, Cindy, how you doing? Well, sure is good to see you. Thanks for tuning in and joining us. And Marianne, how you doing? How you doing? It's a blessing to have you with us, too. And then we got Dark Phoenix. How you doing, sister? It's a blessing to have you with us. And then there's the Rockin' Robin. How you doing? How you doing? And the Love Bug. Lord, there's my angry little sister. <laughs> Joy probably ain't too far behind. And there's Eric. How you doing, brother? Sure is good to see you. I said, hope everybody's having a mighty good one. Uh, I'll continue saying hi to everybody here in a few minutes. Hey, Martha, how you doing, sister? And Miss Charlene, a blessing to have you with us, too, sister. And as always, our good brother, Alligator Horse. And good sister, uh, Shadow Gypsy, how you doing, sister? And our good brother, A.R., how you doing, Kim Folk? It's a blessing to have each and every one of you here. Yep, there he is. <laughs> There's old Joseph sneaking in on us. He coming in the back door. <laughs> and everybody at home, thank you for tuning in as well. Everybody dragons up a seat and sit down beside it. <laughs> That's what Paul used to tell everybody. He said, Puggins up a seat and sit down beside it. Miss Sarah, how you doing, sister? Fine cigars. Blessing to have you with us, brother. And Adrian. Uh, and Joanne and Danny, how you doing, Kim, folk? Uh, but before we get into this stream, like I said, uh, Uh, hey, Bill, how you doing, brother? Sure is a blessing to have you with us. Miss Shana, all right, sister, be a blessing. And Paul, how you doing, brother? But, uh, I said, uh, as always, we're going to start off with the kinfolk prayer. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you so, so much. For another day and shine your glorious light to guys to be good folk today and better folks tomorrow and help care for others along with giving us a heart and a voice to pray for each other and others in need of your heavenly light and love and lord we ask you to please heal the sick the injured feed the hungry and shine your glorious light all over this old world and everything and everybody in it and we thank you, O oh Lord, for another day to visit with one another. And thank you so, so much, Father, for guiding us and guiding more folk our way to make this old love and caring family even much more bigger and be able to celebrate more days to come and to celebrate them in your holy heavenly name. We love one another and we love you. Amen. Now then. I always got to give a 
tribute to the big man upstairs. The one brought us all together. Hey, Miss Darla, how you doing, sister? And then there's Miss Sally. How you doing, sister? It's a blessing to have you with us. Uh, yes, I did, Miss Dormy, and I'm about to open it here in just a minute. That's why I started saying, oh, there's old Spooky sneaking in on us. <laughs> uh, all right, and I said, now I'm going to have to show my old ugly face for just a minute. So if I miss anybody coming in saying hi, uh, you folks let them know I got to open up a couple pieces of mail and I'll be uh, getting back to the chat. And I warned you now, if I, bro if I broke your device, you know, I, that's on you. <laughs> All right. Now, this is uh, from our good sister. Uh, Miss Dormia. says, Easter blessings. I hope you're well before you get your card. I am, and thank you. <laughs> Lord Sally. She said, yep, there goes my phone. Just broke it. <laughs> oh, hey, John, how you doing, brother? Oh, mercy me. That's what I love about this family. We joke around stuff and everything. Lord, you just tickle me sometimes. I've actually had to sit and wipe tears out of my eyes and be life it's hard. But that's part of the old mountain tradition. That's how old mountain folk done it back in, you know. Hey, Aaron, how you doing, sister? Oh, bless your heart. Says, Wishing you a glorious Easter. Jared, Laura, and family. One that's... F oh, wait a minute. Hang on. See. Uh, well, bless your heart, sister. Bless your heart. So one is filled with joy and celebration. And he has many blessings. The kind someone as wonderful as you deserve. Showers of blessings and lots of prayers for you and Laura. So thank you both for bringing me so much comfort and joy week in and week out. What a blessing that is right there. Lord. She says, sorry, I couldn't give, it, uh, give you all more. Says, There's 20 for Jared's car, 10 for his work, 10 for Queen Laura, and 10 to help with King Fest. Bless your heart, sister. God bless you for that. That is a blessing indeed. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Thank you so much. That was a blessing indeed, sister. Thank you. Hey, Andre. How you doing, brother? And Miss Mary, how you doing? It's a blessing to have you with us. And Darlene, how you doing, sister? It's a blessing to have you with us, too. All right, now we got... Uh, one more here from our good brother, Scott Thomas. Yeah, that's his P.O. box. So that's okay to show it. Now, old Scott, like I said, he is mighty decorative. He does a lot of decorative stuff, and he's good with art and things like that. Uh, Miss Jones says, uh, I'm new and loving the show. Caught my first live on my birthday. Well, happy birthday. All right, well, folks, you know what we got to do. All right, now we're going to hurt your ears, Miss Joan. All right, we're going to hurt your ears a minute here. All right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Miss Joan. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> now, these probably animals are uh, hurting and hurting their ears and Holding her ears and dogs are squalling all over the place. <laughs> hey, Gary, how you doing, brother? Sure is good to see you. 
And there's Miss Tarsha. How you doing, sister? Everybody wishing Miss Joan a happy birthday. And there's uh, Coyote. How you doing, brother? Hey, Donnie. <laughs> hey, boy, sure is good to have you back, brother. Donnie, I got you uh, video on my save to watch list. Brother, I didn't even get your notification until about 10 minutes ago. That's one thing about Scott. Uh, he also, he uh, he knows how to wrap. He can wrap a present. And I really think he watches these and laughs at me trying to get into them. <laughs> Bless your heart. Oh, thank you. I love that. Thanks, everybody. Jimmy said, yep, got Donnie's right before mine. Yeah. Uh, Actually, fixing it over, I thought, well, Lord, Donnie's uploading awful late. You know, he usually goes on, you know, Probably early, and I even looked this morning, and it didn't show nothing up. Well, I said I got his notification a while ago, and it said it was uploaded this morning. I thought, go figure. Well, brother, we sure are good and glad to have you back, that's for sure. <laughs> Lord, Steve said, I can't wrap. So wrap the square box and come out around. <laughs> oh, mercy me. Ooh. All right, now this is from Scott, and I see like everyone said I kind of artist like and everything. He draws all kinds of neat stuff, and everything. I tell you, he already been an artist. He says, "Hi," and he says, "A mystery of a sort. So this knife has very specific use. What do you think it is? What do you think its purpose is, and what's it used for? Enjoy your channel. It reminds me of family reunions of the past." Scott and the cat. Yeah, he's got a cat. And I said, they sit and they watch it up and everything. Well, hey, Beans and Taters. How you doing, Kim, folks? As a shadow person, not a ghost or a haint, but a spirit. Sarah, the shadow person. Ain't that neat? I can't even draw a straight line. Shoot, far as that goes, I do good to draw a crooked line. <laughs> That's how bad I am. And you think that's bad, you'll see my handwriting. Or as I call it, my old chicken scratching. That's why I call it my old chicken scratch. Well. Now, Scott, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe some of you folks in chat might know what, what kind of knife this is here. Oh, he's got that part taped up there. Okay. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. All righty. Looky there. It looks, I don't. It's neat, though. S-E-440 Stainless China. Huh. I really don't know. It's neat, though. But I sure appreciate you sending it in, brother. I like it. Yeah, I like different kind of stuff. Well, thank you, Scott. I appreciate that, brother. Uh, Don said having trouble commenting on her. Uh, hey, brother! I tell you what. Uh, Jimmy had a, a premiere a while ago, and. Uh, Lord, let's get my old ugly face off here. There's the... There we go. We'll do that. <laughs> uh, 
There's the email and the P.O. box. Uh, if anybody else wants, you know, has anything you'd like to send in or anything like that. But, uh, like I said, I was in Jimmy's premiere on a while ago, and all of a sudden, it just kicked me out of the chat. And then when I went to go back in, why, Lord, I couldn't. And the chat wouldn't show up or nothing. The whole thing was just black. I just couldn't, I could not comment. And it does that from time to time. I don't know. And you said, can opener. Might be, I don't know. <laughs> Sarah says, hi, Jared. Need prayers. Mom's not doing good. It's in God's hands as always. Let me see her today. Pray for her comfort. Thank you. Well, Sherry, like I said, sister, she is most definitely in our prayers. Kind of puts me in mind of a cobbler's knife. Do some kind of fancy work. Yeah, that's very possible. Letter opener. Very possible. Very possible. <laughs> well, howdy, Eastern girl. How you doing? How you doing? Sure is a blessing to have you with us. Hey, Timothy, how you doing, brother? Says, uh, Jared looks like a wood carving or a whittling knife. Got a couple myself. You know, it does kind of look like one of them, don't it? And for a lot of folks that don't know, an Eastern girl, that's Kim. That's her sister, Kim. And the Eastern boy, that's her brother, Daniel. Alligator said, I always get Jimmy's notifications the day after his video. Yeah, it's usually the way it goes, seems like. Well, hey, Miss Cara, how you doing? Sure is a blessing to have you with us. Miss mm -hmm. Alice, hey, Jared. First semester, granddaughter, 100% across the board. So far, 4.0. Lord, bless your heart, bless your heart. And you tell her, I am so proud of her. Donnie said, anyway, he said, I just uh, say what I can and everything. He said, thank you, everybody, for your prayers and support while being laid up. And God bless you all, and thank you. Well, Donnie, like I said, brother, we've all had you in our prayers and thoughts and stuff like that, you know. Uh, well, oh, Lord, Angie, thank you and Joseph so so much for that, sister. God bless you. Uh, I said, uh, I said, folks, if you would, I said, just keep continuing to pray for Donnie until he's back up on his feet, you know, 100%. And keep running his playlist and stuff, and God bless everybody that has been. Miss Gina, how you doing, sister? Says, hi, Jerry. Please pray for my husband. Says, he's had a bad time of it. Oh, bless his heart, sister. Bless his heart. We well, he definitely will. There's Miss Medusa. Thank you so much for joining us, sister. Uh, Dragon says, my uncle had a number two knife. Need to say... Kept it right by the toilet. Uh, now, I got a pretty good old story. I meant to read last time, but I got, you just know me, and when I get uh, uh, reading, my, I get to running my mouth and stuff, I kind of run out of time sometimes. <laughs> well, hey, Miss Jean, how you doing, sister? It's a blessing to have you with us. <laughs> Donnie said the Dirty Dan was wondering where I was at too <laughs> and folks if you just didn't see that video Donnie put up not long ago of uh, the Dirty Dan and everything I watched that and like I said that right there that video that made my day I bet you I watched that about 15 times I said that was just so amazing I said I, I really enjoyed that Donnie I said, sure enough, I said, that was real creative and everything. I said, I know everybody that watched that loved it. 
I said, I know I did, that's for sure. I said, it was a mighty good. But now, the story is, it's kind of like a ghost story, like a spooky experience from Stone River Battlefield. It says, uh, <clears throat> now this, I said, is from our good brother, Herbert Blevins. Uh, says, hey, Jared, I have a story about Stone River Battlefield. Now, that's Stone River Battlefield Park. Years ago, is it? Now, what that is, the old Civil War Battlefield Park. They had one from years ago. Uh, said, back years and years ago, said the park was having trouble doing uh, with people doing metal detecting on the property. Said, what most people know is it's illegal. Said, the officials was almost sure they knowed who it was, but was unable to catch the one in the act. Well, the rangers got lucky one night when they spotted this person's truck parked off in the field off the property. Well, park rangers checked on the truck and started looking for the person that owned it. A little ways away, said they found the person's equipment, but they couldn't find anybody around. Well, a little ways away from there, said they found the person uh, sitting on some rocks with his head in his hand saying, no, no, no. You know, said he was in shock. The pure shock. Said the rangers called him, you know, EMS, you know, checked the fella out. A little later, said the fella come around a little bit. So the rangers asked him what happened. Said the man told him, said he had dug up a uniform button. Said it's in good shape. Said then he told the rangers he was looking at it with a flashlight. Well, said he had an arm and a hand come up out of the ground and took that button back out of his hand. He said the arm went back down into the ground. So just after he told the rangers, he started screaming. EMS took him to the, to the mental ward at the hospital. They say he never recovered and ended up passing in a mental institution. Lord. Whew. Now that'd be spooky as can be right there. Lord of mercy. I said, I remember hearing that and from here a while back. And man, let me tell you, that's one of them right there that'll stay with you, with a man right there. Hey, Wayne, how you doing, brother? Sure is good to see you. Joe answers, I want to thank God for answered prayers. My doctor about my thyroid and looked at nodules and, and shrunk and didn't uh, have to have a biopsy. Well, Lord, ain't, ain't that a blessing right there? That is a blessing. Hey, Misty. Just love your show. You getting the snow or the rain? Well, I'm getting rain right now. And I hope that's the way it stays. <laughs> I don't like that old snow. It sure is pretty to look at, but whoo, it's mighty cold. South Carolina, I sent a real good uh, facts unexplained happen. I send in pictures and keep up the great work. Your voice. Oh yeah, and I said, I said, we. I sure appreciate that too. Yeah, yeah, Donnie. I remember you telling that one. That's one. I said, it's one of the first times I'd ever heard it in, in your video. I said that was wild right there. Now right, this is a. Uh, now here's one from Gary Stoller. Says, hey Jerry, my name's Gary. Originally Southwest Virginia. So this is a story when I was about 18, 19 year old. We we'll see which be around 1995, 96. Well, me and my girlfriend, wife, and cousin, her girlfriend slash wife and cousin, said uh, you know, we's all at the, uh, my cousin's house and we decided to play with the Ouija board. And some candles. And all around 10, 11 o'clock at night. And we connected something or other and, and threatened me. It said to be in my car. Said, well, I weren't, you know, weren't worried about the car because it was all locked up and everything. And 
Something said was, something was going to happen to my car. Well, we said goodbye, and turned over the planchette, blowed out the candles. So we decided to go check on my car. So when we unlocked it, we opened the door, it smelled just like fresh dug dirt. So we was done with all that. Said our goodbyes, and me and the old lady left for home. So it was about 15 minutes or so. Well, no sooner than we got to the house, car's light stopped working and died in the middle of the driveway. And it kind of scared me because what the spirit had said moments earlier. And upon investigating, the alternator quit working. You know, no big issue. Felt better after the investigation. About maybe a week later, went to go visit my aunt. We pulled into my aunt's driveway. The brakes went out. And ever since, I've had nothing to do with Ouija boards or anything to do with trying to contact or conjure up any source to this day. Don't have no desire for run Ouija boards or activities or nothing to do with it. So thanks so much for your stories and spooky Appalachian stories. Thanks so much, Gary. Well, that right there, I said, that's, that's a good brother, and that's a good lesson for folks, you know, to stay away from them old things. Anything like that right there, them old Ouija boards and stuff, like I said, I don't want to have nothing to do with it, boy. Mm-mm. No, sir. No, sir. Uh, I said, that's just, mm-mm. <laughs> no, sir. I said, I've, I, I messed around with one once a long time ago. Me and, uh, few of our buddies uh well hey lisa how you doing thank you so much for joining us it's a blessing to have you with us i said me and some buddies uh hey wick how you doing how you doing good to see you i said we all got out hey patrick how you doing brother i said we all got out and uh just messing around and everything. Well, we got to messing around with them a little bit, you know. And uh, we was all sitting around in a little old shed. And we was, you know, sitting there playing with stuff. Well, at the time, you know, I said, I really didn't even know what we were doing. We was real young, you know. And didn't even really know what we was doing or what it would do. Nothing like that of any sort. Well, we all got to sitting there and everything. And uh, somebody asked it, said, uh, uh, how many of us is in here? And it spelled out, you know, it, it went to, you know, five. And sure enough, they were, there was five of us there. But we just all kind of laughed it out because we figured it was one of the other ones, you know, pushing around stuff there. <clears throat> well, after a couple minutes there, we kept sitting there, you know, messing with it. And uh, it said, all right then, said, uh, who all are, you know, who all is in here? It spelled out each one of our names, and then it spelled out death. Well, my buddy who owned it, like I said, we was at his house. He's one of, you know, his mom and daddy owned the house and playing stuff. Well, about that time he said that, or it spelled out and everything, he jumped up. Well, as soon as he jumped up, there was a big old, old-fashioned, I mean old-fashioned sickle that was hanging up. You know, but it weren't one of the real long handled ones. It was a like one of the handheld old corn sickles, like, you know, and it was hanging up there. And I rushed over there, I said, with my foot, and put my foot right on his side, and I pushed him because that thing fell and everything. And he he fell over sideways, and that thing landed right by my leg and everything. If I hadn't pushed him, that would have hit him right on top of the head. And like I said, we said goodbye and jumped up and run as fast fast as we could <laughs> i said and i ain't never had no desire to be around one since then i said after that everybody told me said you know it was just you know negative and evil things like that so ever since then i ain't want to have nothing to do with one or anything like that don't do nothing like that hey sean how you doing brother sure is good to see you there's Frank. How you doing, brother? 
It's a blessing to have you with us, too. <coughs> Stacy, I can't understand why it's marked as a young's game, unless it's an effort to corrupt the children. Well, you know, like I said, if it is, I can form my, you know, like an evil kind of a thing, you know, I, 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 that would really be a way to get it out there, you know. That's like a lot of these, you know, the old demons and stuff. They'll come at you in the form of youngins. You know. I've heard that many times. So they'll come at you in the form of youngins. That way people will trust it or go to it and stuff. Because, you know, if it's old, big, ugly, and things like that, you know, they, you know, nobody want to go near it. Well, hey, Kyle, how you doing, brother? Sure it's good to see you. Uh, well, folks, as much as I really hate to, I'm gonna have to end her here. Like I said, Laura is uh helping our, our neighbor. Like I said, she's an elderly lady, and she was uh she's been uh, uh feeling might poorly and stuff. Laura was helping her, and uh, I don't know what she's doing <laughs> over her, but she she was needing me to help her. So uh, anyhow, oh, but but before I go, I do have some good news, some exciting news. Next month, I will be doing a live stream in Virginia. It'll be the weekend before Kingfest, and I will be here. I'll be back before I'll be back for Kingfest. Don't worry. Like I said that's 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 our that's our big deal right there. But like I said, I will be live in Radford, Virginia, and I'll be doing a live stream. Uh. From Ingalls Castle. I've already uh, had a meeting with the board members and everybody. I said it is set to go. We're going to tell some good history of the place and things like that. And we just going to, I said it's going to be real neat. And hopefully, if all goes well, I'll have a special guest there with me called Spooky Appalachia. <laughs> I said so. We're hoping it's going. Like I said it's going to be mighty neat, mighty neat. But uh, like I said, so like I said big plans in the works, and uh, the next live stream I'll have. Well, I don't know. I might let you know before the next live stream. Some even better news. So, uh, like I said. Uh, just be watching out for the posts, the videos, and streams, and everything else. Yeah, uh, and everything. Hey, brother, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Uh, yeah, now Jimmy there, he said he's got a, a, a video on the place, and I said, it's really neat. And everything, really neat. But anyway, folks, like I said, uh, <laughs> you two are gonna be in trouble. Yeah, more than likely. <laughs> but uh anyway, folks, thank you so so much for tuning in and joining us. Uh I said it's always a blessing to be able to talk to you folks and Jaw Williams and everything else for a little while. Uh it just really is a blessing. Just don't know how much it's just you know just mean to me. And uh Thanks to everybody for everything, liking, sharing out, telling folks about me and everything. Just thank you so, so much. And but before I leave, like I said I want to end with a, uh, the, you know, the ending prayer. Heavenly Father, we come to you with our hearts together as one. And we want to thank you for giving us, giving us this time together. We love each other so much and enjoy it so much. And thank you, Lord, for guiding more can folk our way that's sick, ailing, injured, got surgeries coming up, or just, you know, having a rough day. So that way we can pray for them and keep them in our hearts, thoughts, and prayers. Also, Lord, we ask you to please keep everybody here tonight in your heart and their family and your heavenly hands, although we know you will, to comfort them and heal them in their time of need. Lord, there's a whole mess of just 
just over it's just meanness and negativity you know a lot of negative people in this whole world so please heavenly father we ask you to please forgive them and save them and we ask this in your holy heavenly name amen well Kim folk I said, you know, it's a bless me again with his company. And like I said, thank you so, so much for joining me. I'm going to get over here before Laura skins me alive because I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, might need me to move some or something. I don't know. But anyhow, like I said, we'll jaw Williams on the next round. But just remember, I love you with all my heart. And we'll catch you on the next round. Now, before we get out of here, everybody knows what to do. Now, get your dancing shoes on. We're going to dedicate this and. Old Dirty Dan.